This is Valley News Live at 6. New at 6 tonight, a man is behind bars after investigators say he kidnapped two girls from a park. That happened on July 10th, just before 5 a.m. in Stephen, Minnesota, with the Marshall County Sheriff's Office saying this man, 19-year-old Julio Clausen, is being held in the St. Louis County Jail on unrelated charges and has not yet been formally charged in the case. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Bailey Hurley joins us live with why police say Snapchat may have played a dangerous role in this case. Bailey? Mike Stacy Snapchat maps. That's how the Marshall County Sheriff's Office says two girls ended up being forced into Julio Clausen's car. Officials say Clausen took the 12 and 14 year old girls from a park in Stephen, Minnesota after he saw they were sharing their location on that social media app. Now Marshall County Sheriff Mark Ellerbush says the girls were forced into Clausen's car after witnesses stated Clausen was using aggressive language and gestures. The witnesses and another person started following Clausen's vehicle and told officers that Clausen was driving recklessly trying to get rid of the witness. Officials say Clausen eventually headed south on Highway 75 towards Warren, Minnesota, driving over 100 miles an hour. Sheriff Ellerbush says Clausen was eventually stopped by Polk County deputies, but said the girls were not in the vehicle. The two young victims were later found walking on Highway 75, and Ellerbush says thankfully the girls were unharmed. However, officials say that they were unable to give an updated condition report on those girls today. Stacy. Thanks so much, Bailey. Clausen is currently being held in the St. Louis County Jail with officials expecting to file formal kidnapping charges against him in Marshall County later this week. Armed bank robbery in Windmere. Suspect possibly headed to the Fargo area. Use caution if vehicle is approached. Suspect is 10 that happened in Winemere this morning, just before 11 o'clock, where police say a woman came into the Lincoln State Bank and had her face covered, demanding money, and she had a gun. She left in a beige GMC or Chevrolet pickup with a topper. Two employees were in the bank at the time. No one was hurt. No word on how much money she left with. Here's a look at some of the rain we received earlier today. Really refreshing, and it cleared out the skies from the wildfire smoke. But how long can we expect the fresh air? Hutch is in with more on that. Hey, Hutch. Really is a relieving break from the pall of smoke, the choking smoke. Much needed rain falling over the area, and a lot of it. I'll get to that smoke in a moment, but you can actually see it here in Grand Forks from our Home of Economy camera out there. It cleaned the air and now it's coming back. Take a look at the rain though. Sideways rain will take any rain we can get no matter how it comes, but there was some wind damage out there. Thanks for all your videos and photos throughout the event. Look at this rain. This is really right here in the Moorhead and Sabin areas coming down in buckets. Thanks again. Now as the storms blasted through down to the south, more are developing to the north and west. Rock Lake can do here in the northern portion of the valley and Devil's Lake Basin a chance for us to see a few storms. In fact, this one here is nearly stationary. So ridiculous amounts of rain just outside of our viewing area is expected from this. Here is a look at that storm producing hail upwards of two to three inches in diameter. The biggest hailer. Look at that heat that's coming our way. I'll have hour by hour details on the smoke that's returning already to the northern valley, but a lot more heat, a lot more smoke and a little bit more rain in the forecast. All right. Thanks, Hutch. You bet. Watch out for bogus $100 bills in Polk County. Authorities there say that one was spotted at a business in Faustin. The bill is believed to have been passed around mid-July. The sheriff's office is encouraging everyone to closely examine paper currency and to report bills that appear suspicious. A group of North Dakota voters is trying to recall their own lawmaker from the state legislature. A petition format has been approved by the state to recall Representative Dwight Kiefert of Valley City. The sponsoring committee claims he failed to meet the standards of a Republican and has not been committed to these standards. Kiefert says he's being recalled for one vote and one vote only, the expulsion of former Representative Luke Simons earlier this year. The sponsoring committee must collect 1,764 signatures to order a recall election on Kiefert. Kiefert has been in the House since 2013. The number of Delta variant cases in North Dakota jumped 1900 percent in the past week and state health officials say it's potentially 60 to 80 percent more infectious than the previous strains. At just under 40 percent, North Dakota has the 11th lowest vaccination rate in the U.S. Health officials are worried that another surge in infections, hospitalizations or even deaths may hit the state very soon. The vaccine rate for people 65 and older in North Dakota is 75 percent. And Richard Vetter, a doctor from Essentia Health, says this fall it won't be the most at risk that are hospitalized. Because the older folks are protected, 
the cases that you see and the deaths that you see are going to be in that younger, healthier age group just because they're not vaccinated. And that's just going to be heart wrenching. Right now, over 40% of COVID hospitalizations are in people between the ages of 18 and 49. And the CDC reported the number of people that died last month due to COVID, 99% of them were not vaccinated. Fargo Cass Public Health is holding a walk-in clinic from noon to 6 p.m. They'll have all three vaccines available, including the Pfizer shot, which is the only one approved for children over 12. That clinic will take place at the Health Department building at 1240 25th Street South. There are also several opportunities to get the vaccine in Grand Forks this week. The Mobile Vaccine Center is popping up all over the county with multiple clinics each day. We have a list of those, plus the links to pre-register on our website, valleynewslive.com. Just click on this story. If you're looking for more places to get the vaccine, use our VNL vaccine tracker. That's right on the homepage of our website, or you can open your phone camera and point it at the QR code on your screen and tap the link that pops up. And if you get the vaccine and have been looking to take a visit north of the border, you're in luck. The Canadian border is about to be back open for business. After nearly 16 months, the land border is reopening for non-essential travel on August 9th. Here's the catch, though. Americans 12 and up will have to show proof that they were vaccinated at least two weeks prior to traveling. No COVID vaccine is approved yet for kids younger than 12, so they're exempt from the requirement. Busy stretch of Interstate 94 in West Fargo is about to get even busier. The North Dakota Department of Transportation is working on replacing an overhead beam at the Raymond Interchange that was hit by a semi last year. Starting tomorrow, westbound traffic will be reduced to one lane and will use the exit and entrance ramps to go around the bridge. This detour will be in place from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. No word on how long the project will take to complete. Meanwhile, there will be some changes if you use Main Avenue between Moorhead and downtown Fargo. Main Avenue is reduced to a single lane both ways between 2nd Street and 4th Street while crews work on the sewer system. The road is expected to be fully opened to reopen rather tomorrow. Later on Valley News Live at 6, notice anything different around here? We take you behind the scenes of our new set coming up. And it's been one of those kind of days. Wind from storms was a main problem. This was near the Mayville area. Thanks, Margie, for sharing your photos. Now our attention turns to smoke and heat, and I'll have the latest in your hour-by-hour -hour forecast. Weather is next.